Hey guys, I am back with new video. Today in this video, we will see the Cobax Lab technology. Have you ever listened about this technique? If no, then this video is for you. So in this video, I am going to cover how we can use this recyclable material and decrease the cost of construction. What are the advantages of Cobax Lab and is it different from the normal slab construction? So if you want to know, then continue watching this video and don't forget to subscribe us. Okay, let's start from the basics. This slab is also known as voided biaxial slab which incorporates air filled voids to reduce the volume of concrete required. This voids enables cheaper construction and less environmental impact. The idea is to omit the non-working concrete from the slab means extra unrequired load. The issue is that it reduces the self weight of the slab up to 35% which provides high equivalent stiffness. Cobax void former module consists of fixed reinforcement steel elements which integrated voided formers made from 100% recyclable material. The Cobax cage module are positioned between the bottom and the top reinforcement layer in the slab cross section where they also serve as supporting cages. According to case study done by the UBT, University of Business and Technology, they compare both the type of slab conventional slab and optimized with Cobax, they found many things. Let me show you this. Here in this figure, you can see the difference in the heights of the building in the conventional slab and the void former slab. It facilitates architect with great opportunity in floor flexibility and the execution of building is easier. Now from the graphs, let's try to understand more about Cobax slab, the amount of concrete in the slab, conventional system and the optimized with Cobax. In the conceptual design, the number of the columns was initially 52, in which case the use of the void forms has reduced it to 32. That means that the number of the columns is reduced by 40%. The amount of concrete in launching beams in conventional system, it is 84 meter square and in optimized with Cobax, it is 0 meter square. By the diagram, we can notice that we don't have beams. Comparison of the floor height with the two chosen construction system. The heights of the building will be reduced by 11%. Concrete volume amount in three construction system. Conventional system, optimized with Cobax and the ribbed system. Diagram of issued beam concrete amount. Conventional system, optimized with Cobax and the ribbed system. You can see the graph. Overview of the floor height in the three construction system. So from the conclusion, from these tests, we can conclude that the application of the void forms enables distance between columns up to 20 meters and by this way, we achieve 40% reduction of the original planned columns with classical system of construction. It should be noted that these void spheres are manufactured using recycled material. It contributes also in the shorter period of implementation, reduces cross-cutting of vertical elements, achieving lower floor heights. By achieving lower floor heights, suspended ceilings, we are not required, resulting in lower foundation heights as well. It contributes also in achieving a more affordable building's cost by reducing cubic meter volume of concrete from the local price in designing inner space, gypsum boards could be used or applied and they play a feasible role. <laughs> 